Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing an important topic, how to listen to God instead of your feelings. Oftentimes, our emotions can cloud our judgment and hinder us from hearing God's guidance. So, let's dive in and learn how to prioritize the voice of God over our own feelings. Number 1. Seek God first. Begin by making a conscious decision to seek God above all else. Dedicate time each day to read and meditate on His Word and engage in prayerful conversations with Him. By positioning God as the focal point of your life, you create a foundation for a stronger connection and clearer understanding of His will. Number 2. Recognize the source of your feelings. It's crucial to understand that our emotions can often be driven by various external influences, such as circumstances, past experiences, or even the opinions of others. Take a step back and evaluate where your feelings are originating from. Remember, God's truth is unchanging, while feelings can fluctuate. Number 3. Align your feelings with God's Word. In order to distinguish between your emotions and God's voice, it is essential to align your feelings with His Word. Study the scriptures, primarily focusing on key principles that guide our lives. As you become more familiar with God's truth, you will develop discernment to recognize when your emotions contradict His Word. Number 4. Seek wise counsel. God often speaks to us through others who are walking closely with Him. Surround yourself with individuals who are devoted to their Christian journey and seek their godly counsel. They can offer guidance and help you navigate situations where your emotions may be steering you away from God's will. Number 5. Tune into the peace of God. When faced with a decision or dilemma, take a moment to tune into the peace of God. God's guidance is often accompanied by an inner peace that surpasses all understanding. Pay attention to this peace as it acts as a compass, directing you towards God's desires rather than your feelings. Number 6. Practice Surrender and Submission in order to listen to God, we must be willing to surrender our own desires and submit to His will. This requires humility and a willingness to lay down our own agenda. Often, our feelings are tied to our own fleshly desires, and surrendering allows us to align ourselves with God's perfect plan for our lives. Conclusion Remember, while our feelings are a vital part of who we are, they should not dictate our choices. Learning to listen to God instead of our emotions is a lifelong journey that requires patience, discernment, and a deep desire to prioritize God's voice. By seeking God's wisdom, aligning our feelings with His word, and practicing surrender, we will cultivate a stronger ability to listen to God's voice effectively. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave your comments and thoughts on this topic below. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content like this. Until next time, may you listen to God's voice over your feelings and may your life be filled with His peace and guidance. God bless you.